Okay guys, so this is Dr. Octoconopus, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my custom Lego Harry Warden, also known as the Miner, from My Bloody Valentine 3D, which is of course the remake. Um, so, for his body, I just took like a, uh, one of these police guys and I just used that body. Um, and I painted the belt brown, but I left the uh, buckle part silver. And I also painted over uh, the badge, the radio, and these uh, white lines here with uh, black. And yeah, that's all I did for the body. His legs are just black. There's nothing. There's nothing special there. And he's got the black gloves too. Um, at the beginning of uh, the remake of My Bloody Valentine, his his outfit was sort of a dark blue, but um, later on in the movie it looks more of a uh, just black, you know, it didn't really look blue at all later on in the movie, so yeah, I just ended up using black. Um, the accessory he has is the pickaxe, once again just a normal Lego pickaxe, uh, with a little bit of blood that I painted on there. It's pretty good. It looks pretty cool, you know. Uh, as I mentioned, the belt is brown, and it continues onto the side and also to the back. Um, the gas mask is just a black head that I painted the uh, these uh, silver rings on for for the eyes the eye holes on his mask. Um, for these two bits here, I took a, I took two studs, a silver one, no, not silver, a, a grey one and a black one. And I just cut them a lot smaller just to look like that. Um, I think it works pretty well. You can see on the grey one I painted these little dots make it look like his uh, breathing thing. Yeah, I, I think it definitely looks like it looks like a gas mask. Uh, you can see coming off of the uh, the breathing thing on the gas mask, he's got this tube. In the movie, the tube was black, but I, I couldn't find my black one. I, I remember I had one, but I just don't know where it is. Um, but anyway, I used a silver one. Still works fine, I guess. I had to uh, drill a hole through it and stick a wire inside of it to get it to actually um, stay in place. But yeah, you can see the, the tube then connects to this little uh, box thing here. I think that's his air intake or something. For that, I just cut up a Lego tile piece and glued it on there. Um, sorry if the camera is getting kind of dark. I don't know why it's doing that. But yeah, you can see between these two boxes, he's got his belt. You can only just barely see it. But yeah, it's there. Um, this red box with the black details has this little bit here. That's supposed to be the uh, uh, the plug that charges the light on his hat. Um, I just made the plug out of a piece of wire that I painted black. Um, uh, for his actual hat, I just took a construction worker hat and painted it, painted it black and then I glued the uh, another stud on there. It was a clear stud and I just painted a little bit of black here, a little bit of red there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty simple minifigure. Um, I mean, detail-wise, anyway, it was actually pretty hard to make all the uh, uh, the bits that I added onto him. You know, like the 
the light plug in the tube and stuff. That was pretty tricky to do, but I'm happy with how it turned out, you know. I, I think I did a pretty decent job on this minifigure. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have to say about Harry Warden, so... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more, and see you next time.